Look at the timestamp. Posted one month ago. Clean hands, pure hearts. Here's to it, part, hallelujah! On the day of Pentecost, it was announced by a mighty rushing wind and a tornado of fire. This is the private messages between me and Precious Stone. Posted what the Lord told friend. him to say. You can see a couple days later, June 27th. Uh, June 27th. Yep, June 27th. This is evidence of the Lord seeing the future and speaking through Sister Precious Stone. So let's continue. You could go back and you could see one month ago, Pastor Robert Clancy, he was used as a conduit. For the Lord of Hosts to speak through, just as he did with Sister Precious Stone. And he repeated his words. Shall I play it again? Let's let's see who the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is. Who still reigns on the sapphire throne. And burn out everything that is not of him to give clean hands, to give pure hearts. Somebody say hallelujah. Before the one by whom all things are created. And there's nothing that was created outside of him. The one that holds the keys of life and death. The one who is worthy to open the scrolls. He will never let you go hungry. That was the same day my grandma brought food. She brought groceries. And there's no way that Sister Precious Stone would know that. And I saw the groceries. She was on the table that day. And the Lord will burn everything that is not of me. For every seed not planted by my heavenly Father must be uprooted. We don't war to gain victory. We fight for it. And I didn't write those words down. Victory belongs to Jesus. So whatever you're going through and facing, it doesn't matter. It was already finished. He has already claimed the victory. I said no one can contend. There's no one that can contest. 
There's none that can be likened unto him. Who can stand beside our God? Even Dagon had a fall broken into pieces. This spirit was in my body. This spirit he the Pope. He worships and he has it on his head. The, this fish God. This fish God of Mesopotamia. This, this demon for over thousands of years. This is where the Lord God is in glory. Because he died on the cross and he made a hope and shame of these devils. He, he, he crucified and nailed them to the cross and made an open spectacle of every demonic thing, every spiritual wickedness in high places. Let me continue on. That is the same way those evil circumstances, those negative reports, those attacks of the enemy that tries to rise up again like Dagon, they fall, they fall, they fall now and broken in pieces. But don't you know that you're the temple of the Most High and the Lord will destroy anything that dare to defile your temple. For the Lord will raise up an army to fight on your behalf. You don't need to be afraid. You don't need to be worried. For the Lord is awake. Isaiah 51 9. For his eyes are continually looking for whom he may show mercy. Why do you do? And then he saw this in my mind because I, I started doubting a little bit. Why do you let doubt permeate your mind? Have I not said only have faith? For my power is enough and my grace is sufficient. I cause right now everything that rises up against the will of the Most High. God, be the, let it be destroyed by fire. We pull down every stronghold of, of the mind that is not in alignment with the will of the Most High. Let it be destroyed by fire of the Most High in the name of Jesus. Let, and then my heart started getting troubled. I started getting a little bit fear. Let your heart not be troubled. For I, am, for I am your God, and there is nothing too hard for me. I part the seas. Exodus 14, 21. Isaiah 51, 15. I raise the dead. Mark 5, 41. John 11, 43. There is nothing impossible for me. I have kept you. And that's when he, he, was, he was reminding me in the past. When that night, that night, that night that happened. And he, he sent his angel of his presence. Isaiah 63, 9. I will share my glory with no other because he's probably seeing me writing, he's probably seeing me recording this video right now. I will share my glory with no other. And there's scripture saying what Lord Jesus is saying, I will yield my glory to no graven images. And, and now, Okay, so it has to be the spirit of excellence that the Lord gave me also June 27th. I can read the whole thing. It has to be the spirit of excellence for me to be putting all this together. The spirit of excellence, whatever you put your hands to will prosper. <laughs> Believe with faith. Faith. So what does this prove? All the evidence that I've just shown, all the strong corners, everything that i just shown, it shows from May 2nd to June 27th, the Lord speaking slowly, 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 through his servants, through Randy with the gift tongues, and I put it all together, and what you get is a Lord seeing the future, a month and 25 days in the future that he planned perfectly, so playing a game of chess. God is a lot stronger than that. He's a lot stronger than that. And subsequently, he spoke to Robert Clancy June, sometime in June, in June, around that time. Basically, and he spoke again. The Lord of Hosts, he spoke through Robert Clancy and he put his words into his mouth to say exactly what, what he needed to say.
hospital room and I did not find him. They pricked my baby foot. It's called a heel stick test. Google it. There's just too much. I've been through too much. Way too much to fully explain and send pictures and everything, everything. It's just too much. Too much to explain. I showed you just a short tidbit of what I experienced. All the trauma. All the years of trauma. The testimony that I had when the Lord saved me with his angel. It's just it's just too much. It's just too much. So now what does this mean for the church? Now watch. I'm gonna put these clips from AOC Network. Shout out to AO AOC Network. I'm gonna share these clips now. And the Pope is gonna wake in the body of Christ to assemble into one body. To one one body to pray for one another to fellowship with one another Jesus Christ mighty man Jesus Christ mighty man we are one we are one Mark the seeing is seen we are one we are one of souls and it requires an army to gather together it requires an army to work together in order to see the greatest harvest of souls come into the kingdom of god he is a brave soldier this is what he would want why are we fighting to save the humans they're a primitive violent race were we so different they're a young species. They have much to learn. But I've seen goodness in them. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. You all know there's only one way to end this war. Creation, Satan obviously has some type of falling out with God. We know that. But here we see that he is ultimately expelled by the blood of the Lamb and by the testimony of God's people. And that is big, because that would mean that your proclamation of the gospel is a part of the ultimate dislodging of Satan. We need the Lord to reign as our king, as in the days of old. 
I'm talking about people gifted in with the eyes to see. Seers, they, they, they can see in the spirit. Those are the eyes of the Lord. Ears that can hear from the Lord. Prophets and prophetesses. That's, those, that's the ears of the Lord. We need Christians that will pray in tongues. Pray, pray, pray in tongues without ceasing. Without ceasing. The Lord understands what we pray in tongues. And is advancing his kingdom. It's advancing his kingdom. We need to gather together. We need to gather the gather together. The church needs to arm themselves and rise up from their slumber. Arm themselves. Take up the shield of faith and the full armament of God. One day he's going to get a perfect earth. He's going to get people who choose him and he's going to be king over us all. He always gets what he wants. And so, you know, this was kind of alluded to in this episode because the people wanted a king to rule over them. Before I show this clip, I'm going to tell you in the scriptures, Jesus says, you can do everything through me. You can take your hands and you can heal the sick. If you believe, if you believe that you can, you will do it. Because I put my hand on my stomach and when the Lord was putting his spirit, his spirit, his hands on my forehead for over one year of having faith and knowing that he's around because little kids, there's testimonies of little children, little children, they hear visions from the Lord and they're able to see directly into the spirit and they could see his spirit. They could see his spirit. He, they could see his spirit. So when you invite him into your life, Every day, you say, Jesus, I invite you this, this day into my life. Come enter in and take charge of my life this day. When you invite him in, he is there right next to you. He is there right next to you. And he put his hands on my forehead and putting fire into my body for over a year and took all that stuff out of me. Poison that, that, that the succubus spirit, uh, demons were putting into my body. And not just me, other Christians too. It's time for the Christians to rise up. days which we have we have been in the last days for centuries but i should say in the last hour the seven years before jesus returns the people of god are going to operate in amazing power amazing power and um this is huge <laughs> this is I, I know i'm not sounding like i'm too excited right now maybe but this is really so big this is so big because what's going to happen is God's going to allow the world to hear his truth 
and he's going to use his people to be his witnesses, to testify about him in the same way that the first Christians testified about him. And how was that? With power. When all of God's children ruled the earth as royalty for a thousand years in the immortal body. To burn out followers of Jesus. When you think of in God's kingdom, will live forever on a new earth, a, a, in a new universe, in new, with new heavens, and everybody in existence will be God's children, those who follow him. Now that is another video right there. We will go into detail about that in the future. But we have a lot to look forward to. And a big part of the kingdom is understanding that we are citizens of the kingdom now. And, you know, if we submit to God's kingdom now, you know, that right there prepares you to one day be able to rule in the kingdom when Jesus returns. So, the kingdom of God is amazing. And next video, we will talk about something that I know many of you are curious about. You know, the Bible talks about we're going to have a new body when Jesus returns. So what will it be like? We know it's going to be immortal, but what will the features be? What will it be able to do? Well, there's a lot of things in the scripture that talk about that. So we're going to break it down. We're going to break down exactly what the new resurrection body will be like. And it's going to be an eye-opening video, and I hope you like it. I hope you watch this video again 